In this video, we're going to cover how to set up GSA Capture Breaker to work with Scrapebox. My name is Ryan Borden. Let's jump in. To set up GSA Capture Breaker to work with Scrapebox, it's not a direct integration. You want to use an emulation method. So we're going to go into our capture setup in here. We're going to set up a capture service and we're going to go over here into our capture breaker and we're going to emulate that service. So I'm not going to go into deep into the settings of this, but um, if you don't have Scrapebox, you can get Scrapebox from scrapebox.com. I can spell it and you can pick it up here from the website and if you don't have GSA Capture Breaker you can pick it up from contactformmarketing.com there's a resources section and I'm in the middle, middle of redoing this site so it's kind of a mess but um, you can get the GSA Capture Breaker here it is capture solving and uh, there's a discount code a link with a discount code anyways um, so once you have the software pretty straightforward first thing we're going to do is go into Scrapebox and pick a service to emulate um, I'm just going to pick image typers and once you do that you're going to make up a random username and password that's at least eight characters long sometimes it'll work with less than eight characters but sometimes that creates issues you're going to click update service that saves it to image typers then we're going to go up here we're going to click use and we're going to set this to image typer service and then I'm going to go ahead and just close out of this for a moment. I'm going to go into Capture Breaker. I have all my capture types already selected here. You can right click and somewhere here there's a uh, check. Check on check here. Just check all. Anyways, so once you have those selected, you don't need to worry about any of these other settings. Just go into Options and you go here to Run as Web Server. So if it's not checked, then go ahead and place a check mark in it. You want it to listen on. Um, there's different options here depending on your actual setup. So um, 127.0.0.1 will often work, especially if this is like a home computer, like a laptop, desktop, office machine, that sort of thing. If you're on a server like a VPS or a dedicated server, that sort of thing, running Windows, of course, then um, sometimes this will work. But sometimes you need to run 0.0.0.0. I've had great success running 0.0.0.0 on servers. Sometimes you want to run, this is your IPv6 address, and this is your IPv4 address um, that's assigned by the network itself. And so you can try those. Basically, you can try any one of these. And um, usually, if you if you have one and you click the box, and it may prompt you to restart the server, or you can hit restart, and this is basically running as a web server, and it's now going to listen for the queries. So when Scrapebox sends the query out to whatever service you picked, in this case I picked image typers, rather than this going to the image typers servers that are setting out there on the internet, if you bought credits from them, it's going to get redirected here to this web server that's listening on your local machine, and it'll solve the caption and send it right back to Scrapebox. And then, of course, you don't have to pay for the image typer service. So... What's going to happen here is if you're on a web server, especially uh, the older versions of Windows, like 2008, 2012, that sort of thing, had IIS. Now, it can happen even on like 2022. Uh, I think there's 2022 version. Anyway, so whatever the latest version is, when you get this, um, it can happen on that as well. Um, so IIS is Microsoft's Information Services. It's their web server and so sometimes you have to turn that off I'm not going to go into that you can Google how to disable IIS service um, and shut the service off and um, then once that service is shut off then you should be able to run this web server and you shouldn't have any issues as for what works well again you can just kind of experiment and hit restart and then we're just going to test it and that's how we're going to know if it works so just quickly something that um, most of this doesn't have a big issue but you do want to know in this miscellaneous tab if you set to only try to solve success rate and you run this up to like 99 percent it's going to make like all your captures fail because capture breaker has this what they call success rate and this is their estimated success rate so like on these ones they estimate 100 percent some of the captures they can only get right 56 percent of the time or 72 percent the time they're estimations but it's a basically a numbers game and so that's why we use retries but if you run this up too high it's not going to take a guess at any of them and um, then it's just going to constantly fail and that might look like you don't have it set up correctly even though you do everything else that comes can literally be left um, defaulted for this to work other than obviously turning on all the captures so once the web server is running we go down here and we pick our um, 
service we want to emulate. So you can emulate a lot of services because this can actually work with a lot of other programs and the setup is the same. So you could set this up with a ton of other programs aside from Scrapebox and have this work by doing this exact same thing. In fact, you can use like several programs at once. So you could use like five different programs all hitting GSA Capture Breaker for CAPTCHAs all through vi different emulation, you know, or even emulating the same service. I think you should be able to set them all up at the same. Yeah, it would work. It's the same. You'd put like this one on image typers and then all your other programs on image typers, assuming that your other programs support image typers. In Scrapebox, we can see that it supports this list here, uh, these five. So um, I just picked the image typers is in the middle and um, away we go. So anyways, once we have it selected, then we're going to click OK. The only thing that you do probably want to double check is by default, this wants to run on port 80. Um, you can try to run this as on a different port, but um, it's just, you're welcome to try it, and if it works for you, great. I'm not going to go into it, um, but you can cause yourself all kinds of problems where it doesn't work if you go squirreling around, because the default is port 80 for stuff like this. So, But if you needed to run like a web server and run this on a computer, you could do that, but my assumption is that if you're running a web server on a computer, you probably can figure this part out without my help. So there you go. And... Um, again, we chose image typers. We have our server running. We're going to click OK. And I'm going to come over here and I've selected here to use it. And I'm just going to test it. First, we'll check the balance. And it comes back with a balance of $999. Now, depending on different programs and different emulation services, this balance could change between like $9, $999, $999. It doesn't really matter what it says the balance is unless it throws up an error or it says the balance is zero. And even I think a few programs I tested, the balance zero worked for whatever reason. It doesn't really matter as long as it gives you something here and doesn't toss up an error. So we're going to test it. So I'm going to come over here. Let's actually just move this quick so we can see both of these on the screen and we're going to go here and I'm going to go test and I'm going to hit send and that is taking this captcha and sending it over here to capture breaker which we can see capture breaker comes over here and it's taking a guess it's identifying as an article well that doesn't really matter um, recognized as CYSOVD CY8 CVD so Capture Breaker did not get this particular one right, and we can come back over here and we can see that this was its guess right here, but we know that it's working. Again, we said that there are percentages of the time, and this one it says is a, is an article platform, so we can go into the article platforms and we can see that you know, some of them they can guess right 100% of the time, some of it's like 41% of the time, 33% of the time, that sort of thing. So again, it's a numbers game, so what we do is we go over here in Scrapebox and I don't know what the max retry is. It's five, it looks like. I just set it to something and it kicked back to five. So set it to five retries and click close. And it's going to send it to Capture Breaker. Capture Breaker is going to solve it, what it thinks it is, send it back. Then Scrapebox is going to send it off to the website. If the website says yes, then it works. If the website says no, then it kicks back and um, then. Uh, scrape box can grab it again send it over here and we retry up to five times so that helps with the numbers game and the percentages but that is how you can set up scrape box or basically any, any other program that doesn't have a direct integration with capture breaker it can still work with capture breaker you just pick a service over here that capture breaker emulates set up the emulation web server over here and then just set up any kind of fake uh, username and password, eight characters or more, but you can experiment with that over here and then just test it and make sure it works, make sure your log is working and you can see it and that sort of thing. There is an option here if you right click to um, disable the log. Right here it's log enabled. If I if I have this unchecked, the log's not going to be enabled. So if you're not seeing something pop up, make sure that you have the log enabled just to make it simple for testing. And that is how you can hook up Capture Breaker to Scrapebox. And also, shameless plug, if you like this, uh, hit the subscribe, button, the subscribe button down below if you don't mind. And then click on the bell to be notified when I post new things. And I'll put the link in the description for the discount um, and anything else that's relevant.